Alright, we are in with our next car for the car reviews. Chicane, this is previously, not so much now, but at one point this was the most tested with car for the devs. So almost everything was tested about, tested around whether or not it's possible in Chicane. So, yeah, this should be the most all round car in the game. It is so much faster than. Uh, what's that dodgy car I did first? Baseline. But it has so much more traction. It is just currently outclassing Baseline in every way, shape, and form. I'm uh, not sliding all over the place. It's not doing the insane speeds that Battle Spec was doing on this track, but I am still a big fan of how this is driving. Um, a little more speed would be nice, but this is fine. It's very grippy. This has very strong grip, especially for a Teku car. This is Silence's level grip. Oh! Alright, that was a bit rough, but we got away with it. Alright, it's, it's holding a consistent 330 speed, so it is notably slower than baseline, but signif- oh, not baseline, battle spec, but significantly faster than baseline. So, as far as Teku cars go, this is so far my favourite. Yes, I do really enjoy <laughs> these damn ramps. They get me every damn time. It's fine, it's fine. Um... Maybe at some point I'll learn how to drive through that section. Look, it's, yeah, not as fast as battle spec, but sometimes you don't always need speed. Sometimes you want a car to be drivable. And Lord, is this thing drivable. I'm just gonna pick up some speed down here. Not too much, we still want our nitrox for the end. We want that pipe if possible we're not going for some insane record run here yeah, I think I want to come in on a more left angle than what I have been because the last couple of times I've had issues with just landing let's go Camera caught up. Whew. This is this is really nice. I'm enjoying the driving on this. I don't know if it's going to be as drifty as the others. It might just be one of them grip cars, which is fine. Uh, I don't think that every Teku car should be a drift car. I don't think every Silencer should be a grip car. Um, they should all drive individually. That's my opinion on it anyway. Um, some people might disagree. Of course, you know, I, I'm pretty sure Karma does do a bit of drift in the movies. Uh, whew, I don't really remember for sure about, you know, the behaviours of every driver. But it, it Chicane seems more like a grip car than a drift car anyway. So, yeah. We'll see how we go. Where's the damn end of this tunnel? <laughs> yeah. There it is. Now I should be able to actually come out of here at full speed. I'm going to give it a shot and see if I can maintain traction because this thing has good traction. Yeah, this is beautiful. That's great. I really, really like that. Look, this has got nothing on that battle spec time. Significantly slower at this rate. But it's going to be a good, possibly even a minute faster than baseline. Um, yeah, so far, as far as pipeline's concerned, I would take battle spec over this. Uh, but this is so much easier to drive. And it really just sticks to the track quite nicely. It's losing a lot of speed in these wind zones. But we did that a minute faster than baseline. Um, Alright, on to... Ooh, we don't want to start the ultimate race just yet. 
We'll come back to that another day. Once I know what car I want. Got in there a little too soon. Let's just drop. All right, this one drops nice and smoothly. Doesn't bounce like baseline. I think this car is almost completely rendering baseline invalid. Except, didn't like how that went at all. But that's fine. It still should be doing better than baseline. Uh, it just depends how this goes for drifting and corners and stuff like that. If this thing corners better than baseline, even if it's not drift, then like why would you take the car that corners worse or and is drastically slower? It is very much not a drifty vehicle. It doesn't want to drift at all. Um, it is a grip car and we shall drive it as such. Like, I'm trying really hard to hit some drift there, but it is just turning. It's got so much grip. Oh, like, I got a little bit of, like, a slide there, but... And some skid marks, but that wasn't drip. Holy shit. That was entirely on me. I didn't think that this car would be that fast. Uh... Send help. Where am I? Let's go. Alright, I, uh, yeah, I wholeheartedly believe this car just does not want to drift, and it won't drift if it doesn't want to. Yeah, this is not a drift car. Don't treat it as such. Uh, just forcing it to drift just does not make the car happy. However, just releasing the accelerator for your corners means that this thing can turn corners quite nicely. It, it has some strong grip. Now, unfortunately, cliffside's going to be the make or break on whether or not you can force this car to drift. But look at that, it just, it just sticks to the track. It, oh, this one, it doesn't really drift as much as power slides. And you don't want to do that. Uh, it was quite a slow run, but I did come off like three times. Whew! Turns on a dime though. Not when it has some bounce to it. Alright, on to cliffside. Um, yeah, this is... going to be interesting to see how this car goes on cliffside, because it, it doesn't want to take drifty corners um but it does turn really tight uh and that's just out of sheer grip so i'm interested to see how this goes hopefully i don't have any trouble with that damn loop let's go um i'm wondering if it has enough downforce for this first jump well not jump but drop uh, it's not as good as baseline there. But I bet it does this. Oh, this is so much smoother than baseline. Not baseline. I keep saying baseline. I'm meaning battle spec. It's not as good as battle spec there. And it does this a million times smoother than battle spec. Very nice. Now we got to hope that it turns enough, which it definitely does. This car is amazing for just turns without drifting. It holds that apex so beautifully. Oh, I got had a little bit of drift there, and that actually kind of ruined me. Um, it, as I said, it's more of a power slide in this car. Um, at that point, that the drift kicks out, you have lost control of the vehicle, and you should be slowing the hell down. Yeah. See, I had no control of the vehicle once that back end kicked out. 
It is a grip car, which is fine. Ah! Oh! Not even close, baby. We will try again. Ah! Oh! That jump to the right was less than ideal. Do -do 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 let's go, let's go. Alright, I will try this at full speed here. No slowing down, just to see if it does hold it. Oh, it does not hold it, it does not. <sighs> Alright, we've had a reset, but we shouldn't be drifting, so it's fine. Do not take that first drop at, at full speed in almost any car. I think battle spec is the only thing we can probably take it, or something with extreme downforce. Yeah, as long as we don't break into a power slide of some sort, uh, we should be okay. There we go, we broke into a power slide, and again, control of the car is lost at that point. Uh, same with hitting a curb. So at the point that this car power slides, you kind of need to just get on that brake, get off the accelerator. Or I had a bit of a drift there. Um, again, it wasn't like overly controlled, it wasn't intentional. And yeah, when this car drifts, it is oversteering, um, which is why I'm not really calling it a drift and calling, I am calling it a power slide, because the car doesn't need to do it. I'm just not a fan of this car on this track thus far. Um, let's try to do the track backwards, I guess. <laughs> Look, it, it's a nice, grippy car. It's just, you don't want to drift in this vehicle. Um, and I've, unfortunately, I feel like this is a track that even if you go into it not intending to drift, you will. Um, because you want to. I feel like for these tighter corners, this car is going to struggle to not drift. Or well, maybe it's going to do great. Who knows? Only one way to find out. As I said, you probably shouldn't be forcing this thing to drift, as I am. But I'm also going uphill. <laughs> yeah. We will just go up and really test this thing. Just getting it to this section here is probably more difficult than <laughs> driving all the way up back. <sighs> it froze it. Um, did I reset? I did reset. I reset because it was like, ah, it's not going to freeze. Alright, so final thoughts on GK. It's a great car. It's a great car. Don't try and drift it. Um... When you're trying to drift it, the amount of steer that you need to put in the car, the amount you need to turn, is so severe that you're oversteering. It might, you might be like, yes, I've drifted it. It can be drifted. And it can, it can be drifted. But it also takes the corners so well at a decent speed without drifting, and it's so much safer and more comfortable. The amount of steer you need to put in to drift battle spec or baseline this doesn't break into a drift. You've really got to force it to break into a drift, which you can do on these really tight corners. On a big, large corner, you don't want that because at that point, it is turning too tightly and comes off. And that's what you're getting in the the same sort of range as battles, uh, baseline turning too hard. When it does turn too hard, it just yeets itself off the edge, which is what I've done with this when I've gone into a drift. Um, and when I started getting hints of being able to drift it, I started trying to drift it a bit more. And that's what threw me off the edge twice on the same corner. Um, so it is rough, but just don't think of it as a drift car. It is a grip car. And drive it like that. Drive it like an exotic because it, it's nice. Um, it drives really well. 
I've got to alt, I've got to control it, delete this. I'll, even Alt F4 is not going to work. Um, but it's a good car. It's better than baseline, and I'd say it drives better than Battlespec.